you wanted the best, you've got the best podcast. The hottest, hottest. podcast in the world. In the world. The Chris Voss Show, the preeminent podcast with guests so smart you may experience serious brain bleed. Get ready, get ready. Strap yourself in. Keep your hands, arms, and legs inside the vehicle at all times because you're about to go on a monster education roller coaster with your brain. Now, here's your host, Chris Voss. Hi, folks. This is Voss here from the Chris Voss Show.com. The Chris Voss Show.com. Hey, we're coming here with a really great podcast. We certainly appreciate you guys tuning in. We just got done with a huge, huge year that we taken, uh, did last year. Uh, go see all the episodes that are over there. There's over 700 episodes on the Chris Voss Show. Lots of great authors, CEOs, business leaders, people that you can take and learn so much from. And since it's a new year, it's great to go back and, and mine some of that data, find a great book you want to read, make some new goals, et cetera, et cetera. You can go back on the Chris Foss show and see all that. Go to youtube.com forward slash Chris Foss and hit that bell notification. You can see all the wonderful interviews of the different people that we interview on the Chris Foss show. Also, you can go to goodreads.com forward slash Chris Foss and uh, follow us there. Facebook.com forward slash the Chris Foss show. There's a bunch of groups on uh, the Chris Voss show for Facebook and also on LinkedIn. You can go over there and see as well uh today i have a most excellent entrepreneur and uh, founder on the show he's gonna have a really great story on his upbringing and kind of uh what brought him to his company he is the founder entrepreneur investor advisor young entrepreneur of the year in 2019 by entrepreneur magazine he was named entrepreneur 35 under 35 in 2020 most promising business leaders of asia 2020 by the economic times and uh he runs designhill.com his name is raul agarwar uh how are you ro i'm great chris and thank you so much for having me on the show today it's, it's a really it's it's a great pleasure to be here and i'm really looking forward to speaking with you today it's an honor to have you, sir. It's an honor to have you, sir. So uh, give us the dot .com, I guess, of the company you guys have created, and we'll get into some of the details. Give us a, kind of a broad overview of, of what it is and how it works. Uh, well, designhill.com is, you know, is a creative marketplace. We cater to all kinds of creative needs for businesses, professionals, anybody who's looking for any kind of a creative uh, the, you know, need. Uh, you know, we fulfill that through our community of uh, freelance designers, creative professionals, uh, as well as uh, the DIY tools and all sort of t technologies that we've built to service, uh, you know, businesses and professionals who have creative needs. So, you know, that's what we are at Design Hill. And, you know, we've, we've, we've been there for the last five years. We've served over a million customers till date. And uh, we have a community of over 200,000 creative professionals from about over 52 countries. Holy crap. You guys have been incredibly successful this, huh? Right. So, I mean, it, it, we've, it's taken a while. Uh, you know, it was some, it's not something that, you know, happened with us uh, overnight. And, you know, but, but, but yes, we have grown. And, you know, I would like to say that we have been reasonably successful at what we've done. But, yeah, there's a long way to grow. Awesome sauce. Uh, I'm looking at your website here. This is beautiful. It's amazing. You, you guys have a hell of a community. Over 5 million designs created, uh, 152,334 world-class designers, over 11,543 satisfied clients. That's pretty darn good. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, that, that statistic is for the ones who have given us testimonials. So, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> We try our best, uh, you know, to serve our customers in the way, you know, uh, I think that's one of the things that re that has always differentiated, that has really differentiated us from others. You know, the focus has always been to, you know, serve our customers in the best way possible. And, um, and that's what we've tried to do, um, you know, whether that's, uh, you know, giving them 100% money back guarantee at the outset or, you know, providing them life support uh, through phone, chat email 24 7 365 days uh, and i think that's that's something that's you know really helped us uh, grow as a business build trust as a business and differentiate our services as well so yeah so uh you guys make logos websites t-shirts and more you've got graphic design gig service design contests uh print shop uh, ai logo ma logo maker uh yeah. how do you guys so if if i'm in need of some of these creative services 
what's right. the what what sort of customers do you have and and who do you appeal to and and what's the best way to utilize them uh, you know thanks for asking me that question i mean because the way we've really uh, you know built and grown uh, design hill as a platform you know it's it's been built to cater to everybody you know whether you're a work from home mom uh, you know you're a student uh, you know trying to just get some creative work done for your uh, you know course works or you know you're a multinational organization and you know we've served them all you know from companies like deloitte microsoft to you know students just getting you know stuff done at school or college and uh, and that's how we've built design hill and and accordingly we've built services so you know the way we've we have the platform today we have freelancing services uh, where you know anybody can hire freelance creative professionals from around the world for any kind of graphic design work whether that's logos or business cards or brochures packaging website design anything that they want on the other hand you know a lot of people don't have the budget you know they they just want to get something quickly done or you know for the side hustle or anything like that and for that you know we built a lot of diy tools uh, you know that 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 are quick to serve uh, you know there we, we have built world class libraries of design assets that they can you know tap into and just get something done designed very quickly and lastly you know just to complete that life cycle of a creative process we've also you know uh, uh, we've also provide printing services uh, custom printing services all over the world uh, on you know all types of merchandise uh, so you know anything that you actually get designed by us you can get it delivered printed and delivered to your doorstep uh, you know within a few days so so you know it's an end to end solution catering to everybody uh, all kinds of users all kinds of customers and all over the world that's awesome sauce and and i i see here you've got some stuff with uh, graphic design jobs tell me a little bit how that works so uh, you know uh, as i said you know uh, the freelancing side of the business has basically two services one one is the crowdsourcing services uh, the crowd sourcing services uh, the way it works is that whenever a customer has any kind of a requirement they'll fill out a brief and uh, the the their project gets listed to on a website and it's open for participation to our community in that sense uh, with on an average within 5 to 7 days a customer receives at least 60 to 70 custom designs made wow. for them right and they're able to get feedback they're able to get revisions done changes done and the whole process is very you know interactive and you know if you just think about the kind of value that it you know provides because you know you're you're working with designers or creative professionals from all over the world and they're coming from different backgrounds different experiences and more often than not you know the customers get surprised really by the by the variety and of designs that they get for that single brief that they provide right so so that's something that you know we provide as a freelancing service uh and then and the second service that we have is the one to one service that that's where basically you know if somebody is not looking to work with multiple designers they can simply browse through the different portfolios of the uh, professionals that we have and they can choose the one that they you know like the services and you know what the kind of work that they've done in the past and they can hire them and work with them on a one to one basis on the platform so that's you know that's how we uh, are able to provide freelancing services to uh, you know anybody who's looking for creative work That's pretty cool because like a lot of people here in America are out of work and there's a lot of people that are talented I'm sure in this in this field. And uh so being able to you know get those both sides of the of the coin uh and be able to design stuff. I mean I've I've used uh, I didn't use you guys because I wasn't aware of you but I, you know in the past like when I'm making podcasts or di- making different products and I need logos and things of that nature or even like the, the Chris Voss show yeah. hat <clears throat> I've needed um uh, service like this and this is pretty cool because uh sometimes you know some of the services i've used in the past they don't have designers they just kind of have like platform of like you know and just here here's stuff that's already made and you're like and and you're like got it and and sometimes you can adjust it but i'm a horrible graphic designer like i have no yeah. business doing it <laughs> this is <all> right. <laughs> even if, you know even if it's a pre model like i'll screw it up like i screw yeah, it up yeah, all yeah. the time so i like this where i can go and and find some people that know better than me and have a better eye feel for this stuff and and, that, and that's how it should be isn't it for entrepreneurs or anybody who's not a designer because you know that's not what we are good at and as an entrepreneur what i feel is that you should, you one should focus on things that are their priority you know what things that they can actually make a difference at now if i start I myself start drawing something or trying to get some design work done. I I know it's going to be shitty. You know, it's going to really, really be a bad job. Just don't have that so, artistic you know, eye. 
yeah i just i even i don't have that but i know for fact uh, for a fact that you know if i have a service where i can outsource uh, uh you know that part of the work and you know i can trust people to do a good job then i r- would rather do it you know yeah. and and that's where you know platforms like us come into play because design is you know so essential today you know it's it's omnipresent you know whether you talk about social media whether you talk about print uh, you know whether you talk about merchandise you know businesses uh have to be really focused on branding and they they have to be omnipresent and design is everywhere so you know might as well just get people who are who, who are good at it and who specialize in it to get the job done most definitely so uh this is pretty awesome you've got a full suite here of different things you can do uh pricing wise how how are you guys on pricing when it comes down to it looks like you offer a lot of different uh, packages right yes uh so as i said you know uh, uh, with the freelancing services again you know we we we've tried to have something or a, a particular service for every kind of customer you know so if you have if you're somebody who who doesn't have a budget and who wants to get something done like in a few hours you can just you know uh, go through the portfolios of our designers on the platform and you can just hire somebody for as low as even you know 20 dollars 50 dollars wow uh, for a job uh, that's a good deal and- yeah, I mean, I mean, because that's that's the kind of variety that we're able to provide, right? Mm-hmm. Um, now, if, if if you if you're looking for something really, you know, customized, and you want something, you know, that has a lot of effort and you know, you know specialized work done for you, then you can even, you know, uh, again, you know, you can find people who who do the same, uh, you know, who do that job for you for two thousand dollars as well. So you know, that there's no real, uh, you know, distinction in our eyes. For a customer, we have to provide services to them. At the same time, you know, we've prov- we've created a lot of DIY tools. Uh, we we launched something called Design Studio uh, earlier this, I mean, last year in 2021 now. Uh, and uh, so that's that has like millions of templates, you know, created by designers on the platform. And we we have that service for free right now. Uh, you know, to our you know for for anybody who doesn't have any money to spend on getting design work done. So that's awesome. so again. So you know there are different services, and uh, you know uh, uh, different services cater to different needs and different mm-hmm. budgets uh, for customers. And uh, you know uh, we're we're quite happy that we're able to cater to everybody. This is kind of interesting. Set your own price. You can negotiate your own terms for uh, a, a, a professional designer. What's that about? Yeah. So you know, as I said, so if you say, for example, if you you know you're looking for a new T-shirt design, you know, for your podcast, and so you can very well you know go to a, a website, you can browse through the portfolios or the you know designs submitted T-shirt designs specifically submitted by uh, designers on our platform. If you if you happen to like any one or more, you can just simply con- contact the designer and tell him your requirements and he'll coach you, uh, you know, your, uh, your price. You can, in fact, you can tell them that my budget is say $25 or hundred dollars for a t-shirt design and you'll get, you know, uh, your bids accordingly. And you can hire the designer that you, you know, feel most comfortable with and you, you can get the work done. And the best part about our platform, in fact, is that, you know, we build the platform for design collaboration and interface, right? So it's not like, you know, you just hire somebody and you start working with them offline. No, we, you know, everything happens on the platform. The designer would submit the designs to you on the platform. You can interact with them. You can ask for changes, you can rate the designs. We've put in uh, mechanisms, you know, like you can actually give feedback on your screen, uh, on oh, wow. the design, yeah, you know. So so these things really help the entire process, you know, because uh, people are generally used to getting creative work done on a one-to-one basis, you know, offline. But uh, we are a very focused, niche-focused platform and we've built so many tools and, you know, f- uh, functions over, over the last few years that have really, really made the entire process seamless and very easy for you know customers to actually work with designers anywhere in the world yeah that's freaking awesome dude that's really awesome and then of course there's the employment thing of it where if people are out there in our audience that are you know they're good designers and, and want to provide work or, or hookups yeah. for some work they can do that as well uh that's really brilliant because so many people right now are looking at doing different things like uh, i was on clubhouse today and talking to a bunch of people and there were so many people that are uh they're switching from you know i i talked to one guy who was with southwest airlines and now he's getting into starting his own business and you know he needs services like these so many people are, are doing Doing the uh, you know flip into something else with the recession going on here and and uh, unemployment, so this is great and people can just 
they can get high quality design services. Uh, tell us the origin stories behind Design Hill. Like what 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 made you guys want to start this company and and uh, some of your background. So you know me. Uh, so Design Hill was started by me and my younger brother Varun. So you know we uh, I'm the elder one, and uh, so I came. I graduated first, obviously, and when I came back from university, I joined my you know father, and you know we come from you know uh, a business family. Uh, of sorts. So, you know, when I when I was back, I was trying to get some again. So the same problem. I was trying to get some design work done, and I I I just couldn't get hold of any quality designers or agencies. You know, who'll give me enough options or who you know who'll give me value in, for the price that I was looking for. Um, on the other hand, uh, you know, my younger brother Varun, he was he's a, he's the creative guy. So I'm not the one you know who can draw anything to save my life, but he's a really creative guy and and he would always he was always a designer you know uh, sort of and he was doing freelance work um uh, as a hobby as a passion uh, and he was in fact facing issues uh, as a designer because he was not getting quality uh, you know jobs and he was not you know getting uh, paid on time or you know all of that so when he came back from university you know we both sort of you know came to a point where we uh, spoke about our problems and we decided that you know this was actually a problem that needed to be solved uh, because uh, on one hand businesses or professionals couldn't get quality work uh, within an affordable price and at the same time you know for freelancers or creative professionals there were not enough opportunities you know in the local setup that they were you know placed so that's how we started design hill and you know we, we grew it as a business and uh, so, yeah, and, you know, we've come a fair bit of way, you know, in the last four or five years. That's freaking awesome. I think I saw somewhere on the main page, uh, you guys have done over 10 million. Uh, what did I see? Uh, I think it was uh, 10 million designs or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy so we have crap. about, I think we get a design created uh, on a platform every 1.2 seconds. So Wow. So, yeah, so... So that's that's what we are focusing on, and you know, and uh, you know, that's the best part of it, you know, because we are able to, you know, make. It's not only about businesses, but you know, as entrepreneurs, you know, we work with so many entrepreneurs that we we are we, we it gives us contentment that you know we are able to actually make a difference. You know, we are able to make a difference to entrepreneurs on one hand, at the same time to you know uh, people who are making a living out of working with design. You know, when. These, these guys don't really uh, have anything else that they do and they, they're quite happy and, and all over the world. Now, what's the AI logo maker? That's kind of interesting. What is that about? So, uh, you know, as a uh, business, you know, we, we work with a lot of startups or, you know, people who are, you know, who, who are looking to start a business or, you know, have, a, you know, maybe as a hobby, maybe as a side hustle or maybe full time. Now, uh, a lot of these people don't really have the budget or the means, you know, to spend thousands of dollars on their branding and logo and all of that. So, uh, so and you know, because we've worked with so many businesses in the past, uh, we use that knowledge, uh, you know, we put that into you know machine learning and AI, and we created a, a tool that basically creates your entire branding from your logo to business cards to uh, your stationery or merchandise design within five minutes. So wow. you know, it's, it's done completely by our <laughs> system. Uh, you know, so you we'll ask you a bunch of like not even a bunch of questions. We we'll just ask you to do give some inputs on two two or three steps, mm -hmm. and you know, our system will create uh, hundreds of logos for you. Wow! Uh, within like within a sec uh, within a few seconds, and uh, and after that, once you finalize a design, you know you obviously have the uh, ability to customize them, but. Uh, you know, in terms of changing the color or the font, you know, as per your liking. But after that, uh, you know, the once you select the design, you can actually see the design on all sorts of collaterals. So, you know, uh, you know, we give you social media banners. We give you posts with your branding and your colors and your logo. Uh, we give you a stationery, everything that is needed to basically start a business. Right. Wow. And, and, and that's one of the services that, you know, we created a couple of years back and it's it's actually been doing really, really well because, you know, we've, we've had thousands and thousands and thousands of businesses, you know, get started. So, you know, it's, it's almost like, you know, you, you decide today to, uh, you know, start a business and uh, an hour later, you, you ha have your complete branding set up. Wow. I remember the old days because I was an old brick and mortar entrepreneur yeah. and you would have to call some guy at, at the 
uh, you know, and they had these giant Xerox copy and office <laughs> shops. This is even before Kinko's. That's how old I am. And, uh, and so they would, and so you'd be like, Hey man, you know, you'd have to go over to his office and sit down with them and try and come up with some ideas. You pay him a fortune and then just even getting it printed. Like, you know, he'd be like, Oh, we got to go send it to somebody to laser, whatever, make the, the template. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I miss that. Uh, yeah. yeah those now, are the days. It's changed now. I mean, you know, we will even print it, print all of that out for you and send it out to your, you know, doorstep. So, yeah. And then, you know, I'd have to go back down and, and, and then you make the copies and you'd be like, well, this will be done in like two weeks. And you're just like, seriously, like, uh, yeah. you know, I, just, I used to hate it as an entrepreneur, how long it took, because a lot of times I start a company and I just be like, let's go, let's roll. Let's, you know, I don't want to waste any time because, you know, time is money when you're burning, but that I like the AI logo maker. That's really cool where you can take an, uh, you know, you can, uh, a lot of times if I'm looking for logos for whether it's a podcast or, or business branding, uh, you know, I, I, I'm looking for something that speaks to either the name or what we do. So I'm right. a little bit uh, particular on that. Um, you have something else here that's kind of interesting that uh, takes my eye. Uh, start a design contest. What is that about? Oh, so that's that's the crowdsourcing service which I mentioned about earlier. You know, where, where you know basically anybody can crowdsource uh, designs by posting a project on our platform. And through that, as I mentioned earlier, that you know, uh, in response to a contest on the platform, you uh, users can get anything between 60, 70 designs within seven days, uh, custom made by multiple designers. Uh, and, and it works really beautifully. I mean, that, that is one service uh, that I would say stands out above all others that we have today, because, you know, we, we offer 100% money back guarantee on that service. And we have that we have a customer satisfaction rate of more than 97%. Um, and, you know, that's simply because of the fact that the value that we give, like, for example, if you're posting a, a, a contest on our website for $200, you'd probably end up getting 300 designs. So that's like, wow. you know, and you, these that's are from like, designers, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that if you, if you just calculate it, it's like less than half a you know, dollar per custom made design made for you and then it includes revisions so you can ask the designers to actually wow. you know do the revisions for you make any changes that you want and then you get complete ownership of the file with copyrights that is so, you know, freaking awesome dude i i've had yeah. i've gone to services um where i've tried to hire a designer and i've you know seen some of their good logos or whatever they designed and and so but you you just have to bet on them and i've gotten yeah. submissions from them and i've just like hated everything that they came up with. Like they'll send me like a bunch of different ones. And I'm just like, those five suck. Like I'd never use them. And unfortunately I ended up paying them for what they did. And I just go, I'm never going to yeah. use this. <laughs> um, so I like how it can come from all the different sources and competing sort of nature. Exactly. And, and the best part is like exactly what you said, you know, it solves that problem because you know, when you hire an agency or a single guy, they'll always give you a limited number of options, right? And they, they come from a certain, you know, mindset and the way they've interpreted your brief. So their design philosophy is always going to be the same, more or less the same for those five or six options that they'll give you. But when you work with 20, 30 guys, you know, and actually you're not working with them. They're just working for you based on your brief. So they're all interpreting it in their own way and they're all coming up with their designs. So as I said, you know, uh, more, more often than not, we've seen customers getting overwhelmed with the fact that, you know, they, they just didn't realize that, you know, the, somebody could really interpret the, their brief or their thoughts into a creative design that they never thought of. And, you know, and, and actually be, a lot of our customers end up buying two, three or four designs because they wow. like them so much. Yeah. You so, get you know, the variances they, and yeah, see what sticks or. Yeah. Justin, um, the studio, I think we've kind of touched on the studio, but, uh, you have something called studio beta. Uh, I think, that, I think that's what it says there in the small, is it beta yeah. that I see? Yeah, studio because we, we, because it's so free, it's free right now. So, you know, we've kept it as a beta. We're continuously improve, uh, improving that service. Uh, we're adding more and more templates, but it's, it's one of the most, uh, I think outstanding, uh, technologies that we've built in the last five years, uh, it's the most recent one that we've launched. Uh, so what it really does is, uh, it, uh, uh, so it taps 
into our creative community of over 200,000 designers and we are incentivizing them to create designs templates of every possible design category now you know if you're looking for a planner if you're looking for uh, uh, a social media post an instagram story a youtube banner uh, it could be a flyer poster anything uh, on every topic for every occasion for every industry you know like for example uh, for a restaurant industry where, you know for christmas the designs for flyers would be very different from what did they what they would be for you know uh, a, a salon and uh, uh, our, so we're building libraries of millions of these templates that basically uh, will enable anybody to get designs. Uh, all that they'll really have to do is change their company name, add their logo, and just print them out, right? Nice. And, um, and and more than ninety categories. So so it's something that you know we try to make it so simple for anybody. Like you know you mentioned that. You know, earlier there were tools or, you know, websites that you could, you know, use with certain templates and stuff. We've, so we've really put in machine learning, AI, and all the knowledge that we had about, uh, you know, design process and creativity in the last five years. And we put all of that into this particular service called Design Hill Studio. And, uh, and so that, you know, maybe even a six-year-old can, you know, actually get design work done without the need of a designer. I should have had this when I was six years old then. <laughs> I could have started a bunch of business, had a bunch of money by the time I graduated. Uh, one other service you guys provide is called Email Signature. Tell me about that and how that works. So, so again, so that's uh, something that, you know, we, we basically, you know, created for our customers uh, because, you know, we all, you know, as you know, you know we, are, we live in a highly digitalized world today. You know, everything is communicated uh, digitally and email forms a very important function as well. Uh, so as a professional, you know, when you send out your emails, uh, uh, it's almost like your email creates your, the first impression for you. You know, a lot of people do cold calling you know, or outreach uh, using their emails. Now, uh, and how do you really make an impression? How do you build an impression uh, through your email? You know, obviously your, your words and your language uh, play an important role, but end of the day, your email signature you know that's where uh, you know a person is who's receiving your email who's not able to meet you in person who's not able to talk to you in person can actually see uh, what you're all about uh, and that's the space that you get to actually grab attention you know you put in your profile you put in your designation you put in your social media handles you put in your uh, maybe a link to your website or to your podcast uh, you have your uh, 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 you know image there uh, and so we've created a tool uh, that basically allowed uh, uh, anybody basically to create their email signature of their liking with their you know social media handles or icons with their information and uh, and we we've now scaled it up to a, at an enterprise level that you know you could actually have that information built out for your team as well and all that they really have to do is like you know add their name and phone number and just uh, download it. So it's a really great tool. Again, it's it's actually uh, you know thousands of people have uh, you know used it. Hundreds of them you know download their email signatures with us every day, and it's really really useful. So I really recommend to anybody who's actually you know who does a lot of work uh, reaching out to people and corresponding over emails, as emails are still a very important medium of communication, isn't it? And it's probably good for a lot of social media marketers and consultants like I know who work in the business who do this design for their clients and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, looking down the categories, I mean, you've got brand identity, whether you're doing a letterhead, envelope, logo, business card design, uh, business advertising, uh, signage design, billboard, car, van, truck, newspaper ad, leaflet, uh, menu design, trade booth design, uh, packaging and label design for packaging stuff. This is really great for people who are designers, website ad design uh, or banner ad design, blog design, uh, mobile apps design. I, I do that a lot where I'm always creating either websites or new podcasts or, uh, you know, Facebook ads is another thing or different ads on different platforms. Yeah. You know, you got to kind of have all the right stupid charges pre-made. <laughs> uh, Twitter header design, Facebook cover design, social media page, LinkedIn cover design. That's the thing that always makes me mental whenever I make like a design of something is, is you know, everyone's got their different format and size. So you guys provide all that so I don't have to sit there and be like, how does LinkedIn go to the thing with the deal? Um, card design for business cards. Those are so, I still use those. So those are really good. Photoshop design, illustration, 
tattoo design. That's pretty interesting. Um, book and magazine cover designs for ebooks. If you're someone who's writing your ebooks or or publishing and stuff, there you go. You can go there and probably save a good buttload of money. I know they charge a lot to make uh, uh, book designs, t-shirt designs, sticker designs, merch. Uh, a lot of people selling merch online for stuff. We need to have more merch sold for the Chris Voss show. Uh, personalized cups or mugs. That's what I need. I need a personalized cup or mug for the Chris Foss show. Um, <laughs> I got the hat. Um, so if you check that out, uh, pretty interesting. And you guys got great testimonials on here. Top designers, the contest, uh, uh, you can polish your skills and expand your knowledge base to get your creative juices flowing, learning something new. Uh, you've got events on here. Tell us about the events and how they work. So, uh, you know, that's something that, you know, we, we, do for our community and uh, you know when I say our community it's for both sides of our platform you know for uh, businesses professionals uh, who use our platform to source uh, you know creative work as well as uh, for the uh, freelancing uh, you know creative professionals who work on the platform uh, you know these are events uh, these are all free um, all virtual events uh, we do a series of them uh, AMAs uh, panel discussions workshops uh, all sort of stuff. You know, we've done a couple of conferences as well. Uh, everything virtual and some of the best guys in the world, uh, some of the, the be- uh, you know, thought leaders, industry experts, and on topics that actually matter to our businesses. So actually, you know, very few of these uh, would be on design, you know, because we are solving that problem anyway. But, uh, you know, for, for example, if you're an entrepreneur or you're a marketing professional and you're looking for uh, tips and tricks uh, on, you know, SEO, or you know, performance marketing, or uh, you know, ac- acquiring new customers. Uh, you know, we'll have we'll have industry, we'll have events um, uh, that you can you know actually uh, come onto our platform and actually go through the recordings. You know, everything is live. Uh, you know, we do events every week. Uh, we're booked all the way for the next six months, and we do about like 14, 15 live events every month. Uh, till now, we've done more than 200 events. Uh, uh, in the uh, and you know covering all subjects and you know topics and uh, and and our customers really love that because you know uh, not everybody has mentors and you know they're not able to get the right advice and you know opinions and uh, so they're they're able to learn a lot you know through these events because uh, people who come on uh, these events for us you know they are as I said they're industry experts thought leaders and you know people who've you know, who really know what they're talking about. And uh, so, yeah, so that's, that's, that's one of the things that we do for our community. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's really useful for anybody who wants to learn something. This is pretty cool. Not a lot of companies do this. I just had the pop-up for it come up. Um, but not a lot, you know, a lot of companies just they buy our stuff. But I like how you have the community effect of what you're building, but you also have these events. So I just had a pop-up that came up. Community building through social media, learn trends and strategies for 2021. This is going to be on the 20th of January at 7.30 a.m. in Pacific time. And uh, you can attend the session, get certified, win exciting gifts and more. Looks like you've got four really brilliant people that you have that are going to be on for this. You can register for it. Uh, I think that's brilliant. That's a brilliant concept in, you know, building this. I, I love people that build like whole communities around their brands. They're just not selling stuff. They realize that building that community is really important. Like what we do with the Chris Foss show and all the groups we run and everything, you know, all, lead, all, all roads lead back to it, but being able to, to give that more value, if you will, is is something that's extraordinary, I think. When it comes to community, uh, you know, one of the things that we really focus on is, uh, you know, providing value. Uh, we feel that as a business, you know, that's how you really differentiate yourself today um, from any other business. You know, we, we live in a highly digitalized world today. Uh, we are, you know, we see... Uh, ads left right and center and i and i feel that you know uh, a hard sell no longer works you know because everything is so crowded you know the competition is so high like if, if anybody's familiar with uh, you know ppc or you know google ads they realize that you know uh, thousands of people are bidding for the same keyword you know for the same customer and you know you're just paying money left right and center and not getting enough value out of it so uh, but but if you really you know, focus on your customer, you know, the problems that they're having, the needs that they have and or, or the their aspirations. And you try to provide value to them in that sense. I think that really 
makes you stand out as a business you know so when it comes to us you know with our customers which are you know businesses uh, uh, entrepreneurs professionals marketers we try to do these events uh, you know free of cost uh, covering topics that really matter to them you know that those those topics that are going to make a difference to their professional uh, life and you know and and that's when you know the people realize that okay you know uh, you know this is a business that that is real you know they are just not after my money they are actually looking to you know help me and and that's how i think you build loyalty isn't it uh, yeah. by 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 doing something that you know they're not expecting you to do because when they come to our website they expect us to charge them uh, and give get you know give them design work and you know that's all the transaction should be you know i really that's where it should close but that's not what happens you know we we try to re engage with them we try to provide them value and and i think that's where community uh, you know building a community plays an important role in growing as a business in growing as a brand and and and, and making an impact on your customers mindset there you go there you go i mean this is this is uh, really helpful to entrepreneurs especially uh you know like i say from my days of brick and mortar i mean i just love the new entrepreneur stuff that's available online where you can start a business you can fire off your logos you can get everything designed and boom 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 you you're, you're hitting the ground running because time is money and and if you're if you're spending like in the old days like i did two weeks yeah two three weeks you had to wait to get your business cards two three weeks you had to get the logo or whatever you're having printed and stuff uh even worse like my biggest thing is i do i well i used to do a lot of events i'll still do events but you know like ces just as next week and and i would always forget to have the cards and all the merch printed for ces i always be like having to pay extra to have it fast and delivered uh there's something on your guys's site too that's called print shop uh, give me some uh background on that too so uh you know again print shop was something that ke- uh, came to being uh, more because of the what our customers were coming back to us asking us to do uh, you know if you think about it a lot of the design work that you actually get done and i mean in case in your case you just mentioned about you know your cap or you know t-shirts or personalized mugs uh once you get it designed once you get your merchandise design or your flyers or marketing collateral design you need you'll you know you'll the next step is that you'll go and find a printer to get them printed for you isn't it so so that's how we you know came up with the concept of print shop and so what what we've done is we've built a complete tool again so you know it covers a range of uh, products uh, everything from t-shirts to phone cases to mugs bags everything uh, that a business can need or even otherwise you know you know a lot of people uh, uh, do a lot of custom printing for you know holidays or you know for a family reunion or uh, you know for somebody's birthday and you know they'll have this photos and stuff so we built a tool where you can just upload your logo or any photo or anything that you have and you can actually get it printed and you know get uh, shipped to your doorstep so so that's one of the things that we do with print shop uh, which is a custom printing um, and on the other hand uh, what we also did was you know basically to help our community earn more uh, we uh, we sort of leveraged into the creative talent that they have and we created a print on demand marketplace so you can actually uh, get merchandised any kind of clothing apparel for any kind of occasion so whether that's valentines day or 4th of july or christmas or you know if you're a music lover or a pet lover you'll have t-shirts you'll have products uh, that are created by artists around the world you know these are all hand picked artists on our platform and you you'll you'll find some really cool stuff that you know you can actually wear and you know go out so so that's what print shop is you know there's a print on demand marketplace as well as a custom printing platform that's awesome sauce anything more we need to know about designhill.com what you guys do uh, i think we've covered everything uh, in terms of you know what we do uh, there there's quite a few things but 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 all in all i think in, i would like the way i would like to sum it up is that you know we are uh, uh, you know we are your go to destination when you you know think about design you know whether you want something quick you want something specialized uh, you want to get something printed uh, you know we we have a service and a solution for you so that's what we are uh, or we are hoping to be 
There you guys guys go. Designhill.com. This is pretty cool. I'll be using it for my next uh, uh, stuff that I need to take and do. Or get, I need some coffee cups for the show, so I'll probably do that. Um, you know, I need to have the whole when I. You know, I'm usually drinking like a cup on the show, and yeah. so people are seeing it. I'm like, this is really awful that this isn't branded, right? You know, <laughs> and I probably uh, I probably start doing. I'm doing a coffee uh, a coffee. Uh, on Clubhouse, uh, the new the new thing that's really popular with people, Clubhouse oh. app, and so I'm doing like a coffee with uh, Chris Voss and the Chris Voss podcast on there in the morning, and uh, well, they can't see me. You know, it'd be nice uh, if I had like a whole like one one of my favorite shows is Morning Joe, and so yeah. the, the Morning Joe is a play on Coffee Java, but his name is Joe Scarborough, and so you know they have the coffee mugs and stuff, and I'm always like, I I really should have that, <laughs> so I'll definitely check it out. Yeah. So, in fact, you know, with Print Shop, one of the things I would like to add on what you just said here is that people like you, you know, who have a lot of fans and followers, you can actually set up your merch shop. So, you can have oh, your wow. branded stuff uh, with your logo and, you know, with or it can be t-shirts, bags, cups, anything. And you can actually put them up for sale. Uh, so, really? you your fans can actually go and buy them. Uh, so, it'll be your merchandise. So you can actually open your merch shop on print shop as well so, so well, there you have it guys the new merch shop for the chris voss show there you go <laughs> i love it that's yeah. gonna be awesome the uh so this is great guys uh check it out uh designhill.com is there any other uh links that you want to take and promote maybe to you on social media or whatever uh well uh, you know uh, our website is pretty easy to find. So as you said, it's, you know, designhill.com. Uh, for any queries on that, in fact, you know, we, as I said, we have 24-7 live chat. So, you know, we try to help answer as many questions as possible, help our customers so they can, you know, reach out to our customer service agents. Uh, for me, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not a very social guy, but yeah, I'm available on LinkedIn. <laughs> all uh, right. So, you know, all you have to do again is type my name and design hill and you'll be able to find me. Uh, and I try my best to, you know, uh, you know, reply to any messages that I get as soon as possible. That's generally between 24 hours to 48 hours. But uh, yeah, so that's that's where people can find me. There you go, guys. Check it out. Uh, thanks to my audience for tuning in. Uh, thanks to you for being here. We certainly appreciate you spending some time with us today. No, it was it was it's the pleasure of all mine, Chris. Thank you so much for having me here. And I hope you know your audience would like what I had to say today. And you know there, there was some value in it for them. I think so. I love the I love the events thing that you guys do. Like uh, that's so much beyond just what people do, and it's so great for community as well. Thank you. I I I, I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. So uh, thanks, Monish, for, for tuning in. Be sure to check out designhill.com. We'll probably be uh, setting up a shop over there so we can uh, sell stuff from the Chris Voss show. We definitely need to have a more rabid fan base. Like I need to have people that wear the hats and, and uh, the cups. And and uh, I don't know, maybe I can make tattoos for him. They can put on <laughs> themselves. That might be fun. Do you have your Chris Voss tattoo yet? I don't know. That yeah. sounds really sounds like something. <laughs> Uh, I don't know <laughs> if anybody does that, that will be weird. Cause I have people that come up to me when I do shows and events and they'll run up and they'll be like the Chris Voss show. And I'll be like, uh, you and like, you're not going to stab me or anything. Right. Uh, and, uh, so it'd be funny if someone ever ran up to me and said, I have the Chris Voss show on my leg or something. And you're just like, okay, man, uh, it's good to have those kind of fans. That, Do let uh, me know if you have a demand for those. We'll start doing tattoos as well. <laughs> Chris Voss show tattoo. Um, and and where you put it, uh, maybe I don't want to see it. Anyway, guys, we certainly appreciate you guys tuning in the show. Be sure to go to goodreads.com for chess Chris Voss. Uh, subscribe to our book reviews and different things we do over there. Go to youtube.com for chess Chris Voss. Uh, bell notification button, of course. Uh, give you that special feeling of subscribing. Uh, you can also false we're actually now on clubhouse i should probably mention but a lot of people don't have access to it i'm out of invites they only give you one uh i just barely got on this week but i'm kind of loving the experience over there it's not as great as the chris voss show podcast but we're actually port some of the chris voss show podcasts over there it seems to be really popular um on the clubhouse uh, and then uh, what else is there? There's Facebook.com, the Chris Voss Show, and our groups over there, and also LinkedIn, our groups over there. Thanks, minus for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.